And this is the type of slurry or sediment flow that we would have found inside of the flood. So there we have this layer and moving through. You can see how it flows and moves like that. So little creatures like Claude would have been swimming around, crawling around, and they would have got trapped and buried down inside of those sediment layers. Oh no, I'm trapped, I can't get out. And we'll see what happens to him in this fossilization process. As a creature is buried in sediments, it has to be buried quickly and more layers have to be deposited on top or scavengers and bacteria would decompose it quickly. The flood of Noah's day gives the perfect conditions to explain how this would happen. As the animal died, its body would have been trapped in the fine particles of mud and sand. As it gradually decomposed, the layers that contain lots of minerals and water were a perfect environment to start transforming the flesh and bones or shells into stone, one molecule at a time. Many people believe this would take long ages to accomplish, but with the mineral-rich waters in the flood sediments, fossils could have formed rapidly in weeks or months, not millions of years. All right, so Claude has been fossilized. He's entombed in this limestone <laughs> grave here, and we're gonna be able to extract him. Now, have you ever been on a fossil dig and been able to go out into the field and find fossils like this? Yeah, many, uh, many times I have done that. I have done that actually here in the United States. Mm -hmm. Also, I did some of that in Europe and also in Brazil where I'm from. So we're gonna take this tool. This is a common tool that geologists would use to chip rocks apart. It's got this angled part to be able to pull apart layers and this part here to be able to, to bash the rocks. And we're gonna give this a good whack and see if we can free Claude from his limestone tomb. So let's give it a go. We've got our safety glasses on to make sure nothing gets in our eyes. Let's see what happens here. And Yay. there he is. We freed Claude. And that's the way we would be able to extract fossils. Now, if we did this with a real fragile fossil, not a flexible clod, we'd probably destroy the fossil. So we'd wanna be a little more careful in a real scenario, but that's the basic process we could use to extract those fossils out of that limestone layer that we'd find them in.